welcome, it's the gnome. Well, that sucks. MC Ho, it mooned, and I should be super happy about it, but uh, I feel a little bit butthurt right now, to be honest. And uh, there was a swap coming up, and uh, in this video I'm gonna cover it everything, and I will give you the best strategy how you can maximize your gains. But um, what basically happened was MCO was cancelled. So this is the MCO USD on TradingView, and as you can see here, it went from about four dollars to five point five point five dollars, so about thirty five percent gain. And uh, I sold uh, about four thousand MCO. I still have about one thousand MCO on the app. Uh, 500 is on the staked on the card and about 600 is on the uh, one month earn plan. So in six days I can sell that also. So if you have extra available liquidity on MCO on your app, I did sell my MCO on Binance. So I just withdrew my money to Binance and sold it there. I did not use the swap uh, functionality. And uh, let's just go over what the swap is and uh, all the issues with it, all the good stuff and also... Um, uh, a plan how you can uh, use this to your advantage as well. So this is the announcement that everybody saw and uh, basically what it means is that MCO will be stripped away of all functionality in November 2nd and uh, during this time you can swap MCO to CRO. So CRO will have all the utility that MCO had and uh, here they say also that uh, uh, when we go down here uh, it will say also that you will have more utility with uh, CRO. So all the utility that MCO had will be also put to uh, put to uh, CRO. And they are currently giving out uh, CRO for MCO users. And that's the reason why MCO is mooning. Because they lock the price in basically the average price from the last 30 days. So that's why the price is higher. And... Um, if you do the early swap, you get 20% more CRO, so that's about 33 CRO per MCO, which is, in my opinion, not a good deal. And uh, there are some serious allegations that somebody could make here about the price uh, price manipulation, and uh, I'm going to cover that also later on in this video. But basically, they want you to get rid of MCO and start using CRO, and they will burn the MCO to the ground, basically and then they will release all the new uh, staking requirements for the cards. So basically it means that all the cards will cost about four times to five times more than they currently did. So it will be a little bit harder to get people to sign up on the Ruby card because it's currently like, uh, uh, it's about $800 to get it. So it's, it's much, much more expensive than the $200 that was previously available. And if you accept the swap uh, program terms and conditions, just be aware that you basically have no right to sue them if you accept these terms. So if you are considering suing crypto.com, you are basically giving out your right if you uh, accept these terms and conditions. And there, <coughs> there will be no reversals. So after you have done it, that's basically it. You, you, there's no uh, uh, ability for you to complain about it if you accept these terms. So just keep that in mind as well. And uh, here you also you have to understand this is that when you swap out the MCO to CRO, uh, the early bonus, the 20% bonus that is applicable until the September 2nd, uh, that bonus will be added to your stake on the exchange, which will reset the timer for your locked CRO. So your locked CRO will be locked for another six months when you are... Uh, do decide to uh, use the swap function, but it's not applicable if you uh, swap it after September 2nd. So if you swap it on September 3rd, you can swap it for uh, CRO, but you will not get the 20% uh, uh, increased reward. So just keep, keep that in mind. And uh, if you have an active stake or an active uh, earn plan with MCO, it will be just converted to the uh, uh, CRO, but the um, uh, the 20% early bonus will be added on the exchange. And if you don't have an exchange account or you're not applicable for the exchange, then it will be just added to a three-month crypto earned deposit. So just keep that in mind as well if you want to uh, swap it. And here they explain how you can swap it if you do want to do that. Uh, but basically, if you have liquid MCO currently, I would consider selling them on the uh, Binance exchange because when you sell it on the Binance exchange, you can sell it for this price 
immediately, which is currently about the same price as you would get from the 20% bonus uh, and converting it to CRO as well. But you get it immediately into your hands and it's not added on the stake on the exchange. So keep that in mind as well. And uh, what else? There, they updated their website. So now all the cards say CRO here. And uh, one thing which you think may be a good thing uh, is that um, if you have the 500 M had the 500 MCO card, then your uh, card will go from 6% annual interest to 16% annual interest. Or, uh, I mean, 18% annual interest. I think it, it is. I'm not exactly sure if it's. 16% or 18%. It's one of those. It doesn't actually say it on the website, so that's a little bit annoying as well. But all the benefits, all the things are basically the same other than you get increased uh, interest on your stake. So that's considered maybe a good thing. Also, because uh, these levels are higher, when you apply for the new card, you will keep the current bonuses. But um, when your uh, the six-month period is over for your stake, then it will be uh, reverted to the lower tier, I think so. I'm not exactly sure on that, so comment down below and I will put a pinned post down below what is the actual case for that. And sorry, by the way, if everything in this video is not correct, because uh, we're just learning this as we go. And uh, here, if you go to the Earn section, you can see that it only talks about CRO stake. So if you have 50,000 CRO or more, then you get the added bonuses here. And same goes for crypto credit. So if you go to crypto credit, um, here you can see that it's uh, 50,000 CRO is basically the uh, uh, the tre threshold here as well. And uh, now let's get to the to the bad stuff. So basically, how I view this just uh, was it yesterday when I made the video for the um, my risk portfolio. So I consider things as being a low risk asset, a medium risk asset, or a high risk asset. And I consider that both MCO and CRO went. Uh, from a uh, low risk asset to high risk asset as well as CRO went from medium risk to high risk asset And that's why I basically exited all my MCO Positions that were available to exit as well as I sold all my CRO Positions that I was able to exit as well because now we have a lot of questions that we don't know the answer for and I don't want to hold a high risk asset that I'm that um, I Don't have to hold so everything that was liquid I sold because I just don't want to hold high risk asset and the reason why I think it's high risk asset is because MCO it was a scarce no inflation ad asset which had only 15.8 million token circulating supply but now all the CRO that is on the market is mostly held by uh, crypto.com so now this is a highly infl inflationary asset this CRO and because the uh, uh, the market cap difference was almost 50 times higher with CRO than MCO the potential for MCO to, um, to increase in price was massively better than with CRO. So one reason why I wanted to buy MCO was because it's scarce uh, nature as well and because it was so undervalued uh, just yesterday. So now that everything is CRO, I don't want to hold too much of this asset because again, it's uh, in, my, in my view, high risk asset currently. It has more utility, yes, but now we have these um, potential lawsuits coming, as well as a lot of people are even more uh, are having trust issues because you have to understand that Crypto.com was released with MCO, so you have uh, people from those times who believed in the future of MCO, and even them themselves they said that they have both future for both coins, and now that they only have one future, a lot of people, loyal customers have their trust broken basically as well as stuff as far as we know currently were co completely unaware of the changes so there may be some internal problems here as well as well as like you could make a case that they did false advertising and uh, MCO could be considered as a security through token burn as well as um, uh, like I'll, I, I would just say that uh, it's shady as fuck <laughs> what happened and I'm not too happy about it and now price manipulation is basically guaranteed because uh, MCO price was going down and CRO price was going up and uh, there was basically no reason for MCO to go so low so somebody could make a case that there was price manipulation going on so that they, when the uh, time was to convert the MCO to CRO they would 
the customers would get the worst possible price to convert their MCO to CRO. So uh, I do think that there was some uh, price manipulation going on as well, uh, just because of what they pulled off here. So I would consider that somebody will uh, sue crypto.com for what happened, as well as uh, customers, you're basically forced to stake another six months if you decide to take the 20% uh, like a carrot on a stick like don't sue us uh, just accept the terms and uh, we're all, all gonna be happy so I think many people like me are just waiting for better terms so if you do decide to uh, uh, swap your MCO for CRO you're basically giving out your right to uh, ask for more so keep that in mind as well and also uh, long uh, yeah well this is already uh, like all of this is covered but all of this together I have to give it to them for crypto.com that this is a very bold move and it takes a uh, big corners to do something like this and of course we don't know if they want to build uh, pull out another fast one for us so another fast one what it could mean is that because crypto.com is holding so much CRO and uh, now that the prices for the cards are way higher than they were before what if they want to release a lot of CRO on the market with lower prices so they get get more customers inside their ecosystem so keep that in mind as well that they can pull out another fast one it would be very 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 bad for their reputation and uh, for their like trust if they do decide to pull out another fast one for us so uh, keep that in mind as well and by the way if I heard if I um, sound uh, but heard I, I can honestly say that I am a little bit but heard from this move because I was expecting more returns than just 33% gain that I got and uh, I feel very bad for you guys who staked uh, 500 MCO 5000 MCO and uh, now uh, well you got the price increase but now you are uh, exposed to risks that previously were not there so I, I really do feel bad for you guys and I, I do feel bad for myself that I have the 110,000 CRO on the exchange as well that I currently cannot sell as well as I have the 1,000 MCO currently on the uh, on the earn price and the uh, stake plans but that basically what's the current situation and the situation could change tomorrow with the uh, AMA that uh, Chris Marzalek will have on the uh, crypto.com community uh, telegram so it's in 7 a.m. UTC time or uh, 3 p.m. in Hong Kong time and you can leave out your questions here so make sure to put all your questions in the form so Chris can hopefully answer and uh, make us all feel better and maybe uh, uh, everything will go well but in my case again I, I want to say that uh, if I could exit all my positions I would exit all my positions currently but uh, since this is the case, I just basically have to uh, be in it for the ride and see what happens. But uh, I'm happy to sell all, all my uh, liquid assets outside crypto.com and make a little bit of profit here as well. And uh, now the only thing basically I can do is hope that the price of CRO doesn't go uh, much, much lower because, uh, again, I have a big position in crypto.com. So we will see what will happen. But uh Let's see, let's see. I hope Chris can give us some more detail tomorrow in the uh, AMA. But until then, I am uh, pretty bearish on the uh, on the whole situation. And what, one more thing I want to say. Why did the price of MCO moon so hard? The reason is because they gave the, um, the price of MCO, they locked it in the uh, average price from the previous month. And because of that you get a little bit better price compared to CRO so that price was what was it like 27 CRO per MCO so that price was uh, let me go, go here so th that price 27 CRO was about 4.6 dollars but with the bonus this is like 5.6 dollars so because of this arbitrage nature that's why uh, MCO price was moved uh, I saw that question some people were asking about it so that's the reason for the price increase so uh, if you can sell it, uh, you can sell it on the uh, exchange if you want to. Uh, you can still speculate with MCO if you want to for a uh, future pr uh, price increase. But uh, these are just my thoughts from learning about this about uh, five hours ago. So not everything I told in this video is probably correct and I will be corrected in the comments. So read those comments also and uh, we will know more about after the uh, AMA with Chris so we will see what happens 
But yeah, thanks for watching about uh, for this video and I will see you on the next video.